Libra. Got me doing things I don't usually do. I promise myself that I never will fall. But every time I see you, I just can't risk it all. I know it ain't right, but the chemistry we have, it's so hard to fight. And I just want to hold you all night long whenever I'm around you. Nothing's wrong. I'm hoping that you always be around. You got me on a high. I don't want to come down. And I love it. I love butterflies. I love this fucking song. Okay, so Libra, I did y'all read. I did two readings for y'all actually yesterday, right? They were so good. Let me get to that card that's on the floor. <laughs> so good. But, like, when I say the energy was, like, crazy, okay, the song was talking about titties being out. Next thing you know, my titties popped the fuck out. I'm like, what? <laughs> anyway, but literally, I know I, I know it's literally, but I love saying literally. Anyway, I got that Cardi B speech. Anyway, <laughs> um, I just want to know if you'll catch me if I fall. If you tell me, yeah, I'll probably risk it all. If you tell me, no, it's okay, then I will leave. Okay, so y'all don't know if y'all new to my channel, y'all got a problem with the music, y'all might as well just leave now because I'm always have my music going unless I'm just in the mood or my shit not playing. But I, the music helps me channel my messages, period, clear audience uh, in the building. Um, so if it doesn't resonate already, then it might not even be your story right now. You're reading for this moment, but um, please, Leapers, keep in mind as I hop into this reading for the month of march 2021 the roles in the reading can be reversed so i could be saying libra 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 but they could be whoever you're dealing with libra or the cross watcher um i could be saying he it could be a she i could be saying your mama it could be a daddy so or i could be saying your auntie but it's like your boyfriend so you gotta flip-flop the roles the sex all of that according to your situation and how it applies to you you have to be the narrator of your own story be the leader of your discernment okay and if it does not fit don't make it fit do not try to embody a reading that is not fitting that does not resonate and you know it's not your um reading okay don't do that don't do that at all. It's going to fuck your head up. You're going to be playing mind games with yourself and you already know it doesn't fit. If the shoe don't fit, it don't fit. If it's too small, don't fucking wear it, okay? It's going to be too tight. You're going to get bunions. Period. I'm going to stick to this line forever, okay? If it's too big, you're going to be walking around tripping over your own motherfucking feet. Don't do that. Now let's hop into this okay somebody probably is during this month um y'all gonna be taking a rest trying to recharge yourself um sometime in this month you should be um taking a rest taking a little chill recharging yourself getting your energy back up um might even be focused on your health it don't have to necessarily be bad but just getting your health back together you know you might be eating some more green foods make drinking more smoothies throwing some motherfucking herbs and um vitamins more in your your um diet um i'm trying to see this on k cap i think it's k cap i need to fix my curtain yeah come with a price something come with a price okay let me close my door That was the four of wands that I was talking about. That's um, I keep getting wands and swords mixed up, like intertwined. Like I don't know why. I got to figure out why I do this. Four of swords. Four of swords. Damn. <laughs> okay. Still fucking with your ex. That's a bad choice. Who's still fucking with their ex? We don't. We ain't doing that no more. Uh-uh. We leaving them they asses out. Unless it was somebody that it was a misunderstanding. You know, y'all can come back together. Because if you mess with somebody and they still mess with their ex, listen, we trying to get over that shit, right? Okay? Leave that nigga in the past. Leave that bitch in the past. That's better thing if you trying to fuck with them. I don't know. Everybody got their own situation. Let's hop into this. Okay. Spirit, universe, ancestors. Give me a clear, honest reading for my Libras, starting with the background surrounding energy. Give me the background surrounding energy for my Libras for March 2021. March 2021. Give me the background. Look at my fucking shoes. <laughs> what is this? 
Oh, it came out again. Guys, okay, well, we know what that means. You guys need to take a rest. Take a chill. Focus on recharging yourself before you burn out. Before you burn out, take a chill. Recharge yourself. You didn't reach your little milestone. Whatever it is, your milestone it is to you. So just chill. That's the surrounding energy. Just chill. Damn, I'm good or am I not good? After a period, man, I want to upload. I think I deleted that shit, though, because it, it was just too much editing. I mean, like, the more I look closer and closer, I'm like, damn, I got so many nip slips because my top was like V. I was feeling myself, okay? But it was like the more movement I did, the more that shit was popping up. I'm like, fuck. <sighs> this ain't no. <laughs> anyway. But, yeah, okay. So it might be some communication that something came through that got somebody feeling down on it, defeated, kind of hurt. Um. Like a text message, something you've seen over the internet. Some type of communication, okay? But it's like, what you gonna do? You can't lay there forever holding that phone, staring at that phone. Sooner or later, you gotta get up, okay? You gotta get up sooner or later. It's okay. Because even though it hurts, it's like, it's the 10, okay? It, it, it can't get no worse than what it is, okay? So just know that it can't get no worse. So either it's like, you gonna dead the situation for good... Or you're going to take your rest and you're going to go back and you're going to try it and do it over, you know? It's, e it's either those two. You're going to dead it or you're going to revive it. Dead it or... I didn't mean to flick nobody off if y'all think I'm... Uh, but you're going to dead it, fuck them, or revive it. Girl, I do you right. Don't you know that you the shit? I love this song. Got me turning off my cell phone. Nothing more important than getting a fairy tale on. Trey songs. I miss this old Trey songs. I think it's time we take a trip to bed. Lay it down. Girl, your body's talking and I'm loving what she's saying. Don't you be afraid to let me elevate you. Okay, don't be afraid. Don't go too ham though, because when I see this, this is the wand, this is the stick. So don't go too fucking ham to the point that you go end up in the hospital somewhere because a bitch or a nigga then. Okay, I know it got. I don't want to go there, but even if the shit smell good, it look good. Sometimes you can have something without even knowing. Y'all know that sometimes it takes a little while for the symptoms to kick in. If y'all don't know that, I don't know. I know I'm in. I'm 28. I'm about to be 29. So, I mean, I'm not a saint. You get what I'm saying? So, we all then took health class. Um, if you never went through anything, then I'm telling you now. Sometimes it takes a minute for a symptom to come up, okay? And it, doesn't, it don't necessarily have to be, like, something big. It can be a fucking yeast infection or something. But just don't, just chill the fuck out, okay? Just make sure. Because uh, I'm just telling you what I see. This motherfucker's going ham. Like, in and out ham. Okay, anyway. Libras. Show me week one for my Libras. Ooh. It's crazy because I keep getting these swords and these wands messed up. And then the last read I did for y'all, it was just wands and swords in it. A fire fire sign and an uh, air sign. But week one what's today today's the six so that's why i'm so mad i'm like you're not even fucking in retrograde all my readings i don't even know i did a lot too one see i did two for libra three four five I did fucking five but anyway week one today and tomorrow is the last day of week one but anyway some type of message is gonna send okay and it's gonna be coming very very quickly i don't know what this is gonna be about it might be about some travel it might be about something moving forward somebody wanting to move forward but some type of message okay is going to come quick some type of message about some action or something some type of message is going to come it's going to come show me week two week two and that was fast <laughs> how it came out <laughs> what's that message about somebody is working and collaborating with other people to the point that now you're gonna want to expand your horizon elsewhere 
man okay look the last ones i did i wish i could go in and edit this shit somehow maybe i could like block out this whole part of me maybe because hopefully i did not delete it in my phone completely but the last reason the last two that i did for you guys it was dealing with a fire sign because you're the you're the air sign unless it's another air sign involved in this but it was a fire sign and there was an earth sign okay so right now how i'm looking at it is somebody is dealing with an earth sign that is working and collaborating with another person okay and it's, okay or somebody could be um Somebody, week one, somebody's going to get a message and it's going to come fast. Week two, somebody is working and collaborating with other people to expand their horizon. That's the other way it could be. Somebody, you, you're, somebody's going to be working and collaborating with somebody just to get out their comfort zone. You know, expanding horizons, do something different. Either leave from the situation that they're in, go elsewhere, do something. But you're working with other people in week two to get that. Okay, week three... This is the same shit. I'm trying to tell y'all, like, in a different... This is so crazy. Week three, the only card that's up. Because it's within that. It's the Ten of Pentacles. Week three. Ten of Pentacles. Some money. You, you Somebody probably got some money. Or somebody sees it. See, whatever that happened in week two, it turns into the Ten of Pentacles. You see this ass like, okay, this is my family. Um... I can make money with this person. I can grow old with this person. Some type of stability comes in. Or you see this situation as a stability. You see yourself living longevity with this person and having money, like generational wealth. Damn, since did some money come in? Mm. All right, or did this go with this? Cause I didn't ask for week three yet, or I was about to. Hmm. It could be that you working and collaborating people to get to your your ten of pentacles and to expand your, you know, like you you working with people to get out your comfort zone to get to your ten of pentacles. I don't know how I want to put this though. That's the tricky part. But I'm going to put it in week three. So give me week four. Show me week four. I'm a, Yeah, I'm going to put it in week three. I'm going to say week three. Once you're working with these people, when you're working, trying to get out your comfort zone, week four, you're going to get... You're going to get what it is that you want. And that's how the other one was. It's like right when you... That is crazy. You get what you want. It's like the will of fortune. That shit turns in your favor. Yeah, show me week four. Week four, night of night of night of swords. I was gonna say night of wands. Y'all heard it. I don't know why. Night of swords. You're doing something kind of impulsively. It might be a little risky, but you you doing it, okay? Because you want to cut out some shit. You're trying to get to the bottom of some shit. So you rushing in and you cutting the shit out. Whatever it is that don't serve you no more, you doing it. You don't give a fuck. You cutting out all the bullshit. Because I mean, from week three, that's some good shit. And you ain't trying to fuck that up, right? So on week four, you doing what you gotta do and cutting out the bullshit. Period. Show me the outcome of the month. Because we've been on a tragedy for one for months. <laughs> Why can't you just agree? So you you can your act right. Huh. <laughs> Show me the outcome. Show me the outcome for my Libras. Strength. <laughs> I'm not about to say what I was going to say. Oh my God. Gave you TLC and you want a creeping sheet. Poured up my whole heart to a piece of shit. Damn. Liking pictures, not returning taxes. Okay, but the outcome is strength. You're going to have the strength and the courage to move forward with something. To go forward with life. Okay, to tame yourself against something. But you're moving forward. Hmm. That's Leo energy. So, uh, are you leaving somebody? Your karma is going to be who you end up with. Yeah, you're leaving. When I say, are you leaving somebody? Look at this. 
Yeah, because I want you, you, first off, you're leaving somebody. Because you satisfied. But you ain't satisfied with what you, um, what you poured your emotions into. Whoever you were actually emotionally invested in, you ain't happy with that. You know, you once was happy, it once was fulfilling, but it ain't no more, so you gotta leave. And you detaching yourself. You coming up out of this heartache. You coming up out of this third party bullshit. Okay? Now let's clarify this situation. Be careful with me. That's gonna be my title. I'm sorry, I gotta write it before I forget. And I'll be sitting here worrying about what the fucking title. <laughs> now you got an audience. I was here before all of this. Now you showing out. So somebody felt like somebody then got a little big, a little line light, a little shine, and now they they trying to do somebody wrong. She don't even know your middle name. First off, you know what? Three of Pentacles. I wanted to take that as the surrounding energy. You working and collaborating with other people is gonna help you come up out of this i feel like or it's like the reason why somebody is taking a rest is because somebody has been working and collaborating with other people and holding it what is all of this holding it on in not not um hold on something is flipped upside down you get somebody apologizing somebody needs to apologize somebody is um was doing some sneaky shit. Yes, somebody was working and collaborating with other people and was fucking doing some sneaky shit behind two people's back. Okay. And somebody was holding it all in the pinnacle for the they was they was only in it for the pinnacle. Okay. This was a third party situation. Four swords. I mean, I'm not about to keep which is right here. We try it's like you didn't you you did what you have to do. Mm, okay, anyway, let's keep going. Clarify this um, week one, the eight of wands. Clarifying week one is the nine of wands. Whatever it is that you get, um, whatever it is that you found out in week one, it's going to hurt you. You're going to be feeling a little down on defeated as we see. That ten of swords and that four of swords. But you're going to keep moving forward, okay? Is that that wounded soldier. Yeah, you hurt. I held you down for the longest and I was there at all of your darkest moments. Got you some bread and got you started treating me bogus. Period. Talking about she wanted something new. This is the same song that came on last time. Guess you call it Case of Amnesia. Somebody was holding on to the pinnacle of working with other people was not trying to give to you the right way. Whoever it was. And you done somebody's done with that shit. Because you let them thoughts take my spot. Yeah, we don't do that, right? Hell no. But yeah, somebody a wounded soldier. But it's all right because it's like you still looking good. Even though you wounded, you doing your thing. And you still going on. Because you ain't got to worry about me. You made it clear that you happy. And you're going to be good at outcome strength. Look at this bitch holding on to her. Period. You good. You're good. Go ahead and have your fun. Just remember what goes around comes around. Period. Okay, clarify week two, the three of pentacles and three of wands. Clarify week two. Jesus Christ, what is this? So there's somebody that's jealous of like the way that you're taking care of yourself. Okay, there's a queen of wands in reverse. Okay, she's a little promiscuous. She ain't holding that cat down. You might be a little promiscuous. Oh, okay. Well, this the earth sign. You have a baby mama that's not. Somebody has a baby mama that's um. Somebody has a baby mama that is not like that's a little jealous, a little nagging, kind of controlling, kind of in it for themselves. They want the spotlight only. Remember, you got some spotlight, you got some, some attention, and now you, yeah. Oh, but the man don't want to leave. The man loves this person. <sighs> Maybe I should have loved me first. You should have loved you first, but somebody got a baby mama or a mama. Somebody is jealous that somebody's taking care of themselves and nourishing themselves. I feel like. It could be it's two people. It could be it could be that it's somebody the two people you've been dealing with is a promiscuous person and a woman that's like a very, very motherly woman. Okay? You got you a stripper or a prostitute or a jealous nagging somebody that's in it for themselves. Don't really care about what you going through. They just there for they fun. You know, they come in for they fun and they action and you got somebody that's like that takes care of business. You feel me? 
It could even be a pregnant person, but it could be like somebody that you see as the mother of your child. You see this person that could take care of your kids. You can have a happy life with them. You can grow with them. You get what I'm saying? That's in week two. Week three. Let's clarify week three. <laughs> Do somebody got a hookah, hookah, hookah and a baby mama? <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not about to go there. But you, it's 2021. We don't have to sugarcoat no shit. The fuck? Y'all know what y'all be doing out here in the streets. Clarify Ten of Pentacles for week three. <laughs> you refusing offers. You're like, I'm good. I, I'm I'm good with where I'm at. You feel like what you got is solid. You you like, I got everything I need. First off, I don't know why I've seen this, but somebody might got two people. But um, you might be refusing an offer from somebody that's been trying to tempt you. And you're like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good with what I got. I'm so I got something solid. Period. Because a girl like you is so ref I don't know what he just said. It's a blessing that you came, though. So when you come through, you already know what's on my mind. You ain't got to waste no time. Come chill with me. Come chill with a nigga. Come chill with me. Come chill. Somebody is juggling and got somebody pregnant. You got a baby mama. You got a hooker, hooker, hooker or something. Period. Like, y'all. Somebody got pregnant or something. Or somebody want to send a message of something. Somebody want to send a message like, what's up? Can we can we come chill? Can you come chill with a nigga? Oh, my God. Because I'm not want to chill. I'm just playing, guys. I do kind of want to judge you for a little bit, but I mean, I'm a mom. I be having it. It's hard. I don't trust people like that in my household, in my space. And I don't like going. I can't. I don't be having anyway. Let me keep. Why am I talking? Shut up, Ginevra. Anyway. Um, clarify the Knight of Swords. <laughs> clarify the Knight of Swords. Come chill with me. Clarify week four. Clarify week four. Clarify week four. Come chill, baby, chill. Oh, death. You cutting that shit out. You ending something. You could be dealing with Scorpio, but you cutting you cutting something out. You cutting that shit out. It's the ending to that shit. Whatever it was, you cutting that shit out, okay? It's done for. And it's going to be a transformation within you, yourself, after you cut that shit out. Okay? Clarify the outcome strength. Clarify the outcome strength for my Libras. Somebody is jealous. Okay? Knight of Cups in reverse. And it's coming fast. You're going to get this message very fast. There is somebody that is jealous. Okay? And somebody's about to do some jealous. Something. Somebody's about to do something Somebody is jealous and gonna do something fast and it's gonna come quick, okay? And that's probably why you like what? Who what? Somebody is jealous. I'm gonna clarify this. What? Clarify the outcome. Oh, it's rumors and gossip. Shit, shit. And it's gonna be an ending to something. Okay, somebody is lying emotionally. This could be y'all too, though. It could be a Scorp it's a Scorpio cat slash Libra. Okay, somebody is emotionally detached from a situation. They're using their emotions to get the best of somebody, but they're not really in it. Okay, this is fake emotion just to get what they want. But they're jealous. Is somebody jealous of a Leo? Give me one more. Clarify this one more time. And they all talk, all action. All talk, all action. And the justice is upright. It could be a Scorpio or another um, Libra that is jealous of you. Yeah, yeah, it could be another Scorpio or a Libra that's jealous of you. You might have a relationship. You might have a bond with a fire sign. And if somebody is another there's a person that is jealous of the bond that you have with this, this fire sign. But it's like, this is karma for somebody. 
Is this this is somebody's karma, but good karma, but it's like three of wands. Somebody's leaving again, getting out. They come, yeah, they, they six of wands. Somebody, it's a Leo in here. It's gonna be a shake up. Hold on, it's about to be a shake up. I want to know how we came so distant, girl. Isolation, don't trust it. Somebody is stalking somebody. They want their sex. They want that sex. Tell me how you feel about it. What? That's great. Okay, give me a few cards from my deck so I can wrap this up. I'm here for you if you allow it. Illusion seeing thing. Obsessive stalker. Stable. Don't believe it. Isolation. So maybe somebody's acting like they stable, but they really not. I don't know who this for. That's kind of scary. And somebody is an obsessive stalker. Somebody is like stalking somebody. That like to the crazy, to the T, like too, too much, you know? Okay, well, let's keep going. Don't, if you, if this is somebody you want to be with, you need to open up and talk. Or if this is the crossword I'm talking to, you need to open up. Freak nasty, I'm telling you, they want that sex. X E X. S E X. I said X E X. What the fuck is that? Oh my God. Believe. Black magic. Who's doing black magic? Oh, there's an Aries. An Aries was in it the last time. There's an Aries, yeah, the moon in reverse. There's an Aries that's doing black magic on this situation. That might be the queen of wands in reverse. That fire sign. An Aries is trying to keep somebody apart from somebody. I'm sorry, that was my own. Drama, side piece, shopping. You know what? Higher commitment. The devil type. I don't know, Libras. But y'all want somebody. Um, and there's some jealousy around it. Um uh, somebody's trying to stop it though. Somebody's trying to stop this situation. Somebody is also leaving somebody too. Somebody was in a third party situation. I was probably working with other people and somebody is like ending some bullshit. That's the only way I can see this. Somebody's ending some bullshit. All right.